Hello and welcome to Mr. Wiley Teaches Math. Today we're going to talk about three term ratios. So from last time a ratio is a comparison of two or more numbers with the same units. Now we must write our ratios in lowest terms. So we have a diagram here with different shapes in it. So we're going to look at triangles to squares to circles. So triangles I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So do that number first. To squares, one, two, to circles, one, two, three, four. So you get a ratio of six to two to four. Those are all even numbers, so I know it's not going to be in the lowest terms. So I have to think of a factor that goes into all numbers in two. So let's divide six by two, get three, two by two to get one, and four by two to get two. So in lowest terms, I get three to one to two. I know that's in the lowest terms because I have a one in there. That's usually a good sign. And they're also in sequence one, two, three. So that's also a sign that's in lowest terms. So there's no other factors besides one that divide evenly into one, two, and three. All right, circles to squares to triangles. So it's the same set, it's just reordered. So circles, there are four circles, two squares, and six triangles, four to two to six we know is going to divide by 2, so it can be 2 to 1 to 3. So again, the order has changed, but we're going to, we need to be keeping the order that they were given. Circles to squares to triangles, circles to squares to triangles. All right, let's go squares to circles to all shapes. All right, so squares, we had 2. Circles, we had 4. And all, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, again, they're all even, so they're going to divide by 2. So you get 1 to 2 to 6. And I keep them in that order because that's the order that they were given. All right, so my thought process for reducing the lowest terms for something like 24 to 16 to 8 would be what number, I know they're all even, so it's going to be 2 at least, but what numbers divide into evenly? In other words, what are the factors of each? So I could use my rainbow method and find all the factors of 24. 1, 2, 3, 4... 6, 8, 12, and 24, and just check that I got them all. 1 and 24, 2 and 12, 3 and 8, 4 and 6. Okay, it looks like I got them all. What are the factors of 16? 1, 2, 4, 8, and 16. 1 and 16, 2 and 8, and 4 by 4. And 8, the factors are 1, 2, 4, and 8. Got them all. All right, so when I look through my factor list, the largest number that repeats in all three is eight. So that's my greatest common factor, which is what I'm going to divide by. 24 divided by eight is three. 16 divided by eight is two. Eight divided by eight is one. So in lowest terms, it's three to two to one. So three term ratios, when we're dividing it out to find lowest terms, we have to make sure that it's a factor for all three terms and not just two of them. So 25, to 16 to 8. There's a common factor for these two, but there's not for the third, so this is already in lowest terms. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check the class website for additional notes and assignments.